at this time. It's Jem here. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate it and I'm very grateful. So if you're wondering what this video is about, I was inspired to create this video because exactly a year ago to this day that I'm recording this video, I went out and I embarked on my very first ever tour where I got to play and do all things that was music related. So in the year of 2019, I embarked on a crazy journey where I left all my bags, left my job, left my family, my friends and I went to the United States for about six months and I was based in Nashville, Tennessee doing all things music related where I got to travel to so many places. I at least got to travel to about 23 states doing all things music related whether it will be playing live shows, recording on albums, doing studio work and even social media work for musicians. I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Spence Peppard who is such an amazing guitarist, music producer and all around guy. He really opened up the opportunity for me to play with American Idol finalist Cade Fainer. If you guys don't know who Cade Fainer is, well Cade is an amazing singer, songwriter and guitar player. He came in the top 5 of the 2018 season of American Idol and now he is married to another American Idol finalist and country superstar Gabby Barrett. Cade is such an amazing talent, he is an incredible singer and he has such a great heart for people and a great heart for music and looking after his wife and those two are just doing such incredible things in the music world right now. Gabby is absolutely smashing the country charts and just last week she made a whopping 10 million streams in the first week of a new single that just came out. So let's talk a little bit about what it was like for me embarking on my first tour and what are some pointers or some tips that I can give to people on how to prepare for a tour and what to expect from yourself and from others. So point number one, prepare to work your butt off. When you're embarking on a tour, this is a really, really exciting moment and chapter of your musical journey. Not only do you get to travel around and go to amazing different places and get to experience all the things, you need to realize that you're also being hired by people and people have an expectation of what you can bring to the table in order to help bring out the best, not only from the artist, but from everyone who's surrounding you, whether it would be the musicians around you or even the road crew that you had. On this particular tour that we went on, we didn't have a road crew. It was just us three guys into a Chevrolet Suburban traveling to different states around the country. So I had to make sure that I was prepared with my music, that I had to help them unload the van and do sound checks and do everything you can in order to help each other out and make sure that you're able to work to the best of your ability. If you have other skills to be able to help out the team and the artists you're playing for, Make sure to use it. Find out great ways how you can use other skills that you have to help out the people you're surrounded with. So being able to have a great work ethic and to be able to work hard on and off the stage is really valuable to the people you're surrounded with and to the artists that you're playing for. So yes, traveling and touring and playing in awesome venues and meeting people is great, but also you gotta work really hard. Point number two, don't just be a good hang, but be a great hang. One of the things that I learned when you're on tour and when you're traveling a lot is that 90% of it is spent with dealing with people and hanging with people and 10% of actually playing music. So it's more about building relationships than it is about playing shows. Even though shows are the main point, when you're surrounded with people that you're working with, you want to make sure that you build great relationships with people. And when you build great relationships with people, not only will your relationships be great off the stage, but on the stage, you develop a great chemistry with people and you really become much tighter with your musical parts on stage with the chemistry and how everything flows and your stage presence. It really helps. Being on the road with people and sharing hotel rooms and you know having to see people's personal lives, you really develop a tolerance with people. So you really want to make sure that you respect people's privacy and also you want to make sure 
that people respect your privacy and that everyone gets along. Things get hard and people don't really want to work with you when you're not a great hang. I've experienced times where I've played shows with incredibly talented people but they weren't the best people to hang with. Dealing people that you don't want to work with whether it will be their bad attitude or bad worth ethic really makes the job that you're really passionate about doing quite stressful and it's something that a lot of musicians stray away from. And the matter of fact is Musicians want to be working with people who have great character, great attitude, and a great work ethic. And that gets people further than just their talent alone. Also, when it comes to interacting with people, you also got to interact with fans. So you got to make sure that you're kind to people that you're talking to all the time. And when you're hanging with people, they want to make sure that you represent the artist to the best of your ability. Point number three, be prepared for anything. When I embarked on that tour, or whether I got hired by someone else and I got flown to a different city to play a session or whether to play a show, I made sure to be prepared for anything. Whether shows got cancelled, whether the van or the bus that you were on broke down, which actually happened a few times, or if something wrong happens with your gear, or something wrong happens with the performance, or maybe you had to fill in for a different instrument, I don't know. Make sure that you're prepared for anything. One of those instances in the tour where I made sure I was prepared for anything, Spence at the time actually got hired to play guitar for Billy Ray Cyrus at the Country Music Awards Festival. And in that moment, Cade had to hire someone else to fill in on the bass. And that's when I decided to step up and play drums. Yeah. It turned out well, and it was definitely something that I wasn't expecting but it was something that I made sure to be prepared for. So my experience of a tour was I just want to make sure and point out and give advice to people is be prepared for anything. You never know what could happen. <laughs> Point number four, bring your best every time you get to play on that stage. Being able to perform and be able to do something that you love is such a great privilege and it's something not to be taken for granted. When you're in a tour, it gets tiring going from city to city and playing from venue to venue and playing the same songs over and over again can get quite tiring but you also have to make that decision to always give it your best every time you're on the stage. When I'm playing I'm not just focusing on what I'm playing but I'm also focusing on my body language, I'm also focusing on how I'm interacting with the guys in the band and even how I'm interacting with people in the audience. Giving you 110% isn't just about playing and learning your music to the best of your ability, it's all these other things you got to be aware of while you're playing on that stage. People don't like seeing a dead statue on stage who looks bored out of his mind but people love watching when someone is really enthusiastic and really passionate about what they do. So when you're on tour, make sure that you get good rest and make sure you're able to bring everything that you've got all the time. And point number five, be grateful and have fun. Guys, not everyone gets to go on tour. Not everyone gets hired to fly out and play in a different city or to play in a session. So if you get that opportunity to travel and go on tour, make the most out of it and be grateful because not everyone gets to do this. For me, it was something that I've always wanted to do as a little kid. And when I got that opportunity, I made sure to make the most out of it. And I tell you what, it was great. I had such an amazing time. And I can't wait for another tour to come up my way and I'll be sure to make the most out of it too. Other few pointers, um, make sure that you stay healthy, you find time to eat right and exercise and call your family and friends and make sure that you're doing okay. And also don't be scared to share your tour adventures on social media and maybe even do a vlog like what I did. It was super fun and super helpful and helps grow your fan base and helps the artists you're playing for with their fan base too. Anyways, I hope you learned something from that video and I really do miss all my friends over there in the United States that I got to tour and travel and do music with. If you're watching this, I really do miss you all a lot. And if you're new to this channel, I just want to say thank you once again for watching this video. If you want to see more content from me, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to hire me for a gig or any sessions or a tour, or you want me to help you produce your music, or even check out my Line 6 Helix and Line 6 HX Stomp presets, I have a website right here called www.jumbomaxband.com where you can find all things musical that I do and the products I offer and the services I give out. But anyways, that's it from this video. I hope you learned something new and if you ever go wind up on a tour, go smash it and make the most out of it. Anyways, that's it from me. You have yourself an awesome day. Peace out.